included with Samplitude Pro X is the Independence Pro Sampler Workstation. This comes with a 12 gigabyte sound library. Although if you have Samplitude Pro X Suite, Independence Pro comes with a 70 gigabyte sound library. These versions can only be used in Samplitude or Sequoia. Independence Pro can also be bought as a separate VSTi plugin, so you can use it in your favorite door. One question I often get asked is how to assign the Independence Pro drum kit so it appears in Samplitude as separate outputs, thus allowing you to process the kick, snare, hi-hat, toms and cymbals independently. So I'm going to take you through the method in this tutorial. Begin by opening Samplitude and from the start wizard choose New Multitrack Project VIP. A VIP project setup window should now appear. For this example I'm setting the track number to one track. Click OK and a new project with just a single track will be created. Now click on the track plugin slot below the pan fader and choose VSTi Magic Synth Independence. A multi-channel routing dialog window will now open. I'm selecting the third choice which is multi-channel create new tracks for instrument outputs. Take note that if you click on the extended options button, you'll be given some extra choices as to how these multiple channels will appear. The default is stereo mono standard, but you also have the option to have the outputs assigned as all as mono or all as stereo but in this case I'm staying with Stereo Mono Standard. There are two other settings of interest. Audio MIDI Combined Tracks also send MIDI and Don't Show the Audio Return Tracks in the Arranger. I'm going to leave these unticked. Click OK to confirm your choices and Independence Pro will open. Now when you zoom in vertically in the VIP, you will see that 16 tracks have been added below the first track. 8 stereo and 8 mono. The top track is the MIDI track and will feed the 16 tracks below which is where the Independence Pro multiple output assignments will be routed. So we now need to load a drum kit. So click on the light blue horizontal area labelled 01, click here to load instrument. I'm choosing Independence Pro Instruments, 01 Acoustic Drum Kits, Drum Kit 01 Sticks. This kit will be loaded into Independence as a layer and is ready to play using your MIDI controller. Notice that the virtual keyboard highlights the loaded samples in white. Now when I begin playback, you'll notice that the drum kit is routed only to the top stereo track. So in essence, the entire drum kit is mixed down to one stereo output. If you open Independence and click on the Mixer tab, you'll also notice that all playback is routed through the first stereo output. I'm now going to take you through the process of reassigning the independence outputs so they appear in Samplitude as separate tracks. Open independence and make sure the modules tab is active. This modules section allows you to adjust many parameters for the active layer, but it's also where we need to reroute the outputs. Click on the modules tab again or the content button at the top right of the window below the help menu. The content window now opens at the left under the section header and you should see a list of the five available drum sections which can be routed. Snare drum, cymbals, bass drum, toms and hi-hat. I'm going to reroute each of the sections to different stereo outputs. Beginning with the bass drum, select it from the sections list then go to output. Click on the area below and from the menu choose custom one stereo output. Next I'm selecting the snare drum from the sections list on the left and once more clicking on the output menu. 
I'm assigning the snare to the existing Custom 2 stereo output. Next I want to reassign the hi-hat output. So I'm highlighting the hi-hat in the sections list, but this time from the output menu I'm choosing New Custom Channel Stereo. This will create a new output labelled Custom 3 Stereo. Next I'm selecting Toms from the sections list, and again from the output menu choosing New Custom Channel Stereo. This will now show up in the list as Custom 4 Stereo. Finally I'm selecting the Symbol section and from the output menu choosing New Custom Channel to create Custom 5 Stereo. Now select the Mixer tab. You can now see that the five different sections have been given their own custom output channels in the following order. Bass drum, custom one stereo. Snare, custom two stereo. Hi-hat, custom three stereo. Toms, custom four stereo. and Cymbals Custom 5 Stereo. Of course you may prefer to choose a different order when initially selecting these sections. I've renamed the mixer channels to match the drums. This can be done by clicking on the green text and typing in the new name. We still need to carry out one more manoeuvre. This involves reassigning the outputs of these channels. Each of the five channels is currently assigned to Audio Out ST01, as can be seen on each channel strip below where it says Audio Out, just above the solo and mute buttons. The kick output ST01 can be left as is. For the snare channel, click on Audio Out ST01 and from the menu choose Stereo Stereo Out 02. Repeat for the Hi Hats channel and assign to Stereo Out 03. The Tom channel will be assigned to Stereo Out 04. And the Cymbals channel, Stereo Out 05. Now in Samptitude, I'm going to rename the first five tracks labeled ST01 through ST05 to match the correct drums. Now when I begin playback you can see meter activity in Samplitude proving the tracks are now routed to separate outputs. If I open the mixer I can adjust the relative levels of the drums independently and use solo, mute and pan and also add effects to these individual drum channels. Now that all the correct outputs have been assigned, you can save this setting as an independence project. Go to the top left of the independence window and click on the small arrow to the left of project. Choose the save as option to save the project with your preferred name. You can now reopen this project at any time and the custom routings will be retained. As this particular multi-out instrument is using just the five stereo channels, it's a good idea to hide the unused channels. To do this, open the track manager from the docker. Alternatively, go to 
view manager track manager. Notice that the arrange and mixer columns for the items IND ST06 down to IND MO08 are all ticked. To hide the unwanted tracks, first select IND ST06 and then shift click IND MO08. All tracks in between will now be selected. Then simply click one of the boxes in the arrange column and one of the boxes in the mixer column and all will be deselected. So now only the relevant tracks will be displayed in the VIP and mixer.